there. Look at you, a big old leech. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out with Mr. Uh, Stinky Butt Poop Stink, and uh, we're gonna spend another night out here in the woods. And as you can see, it is finally spring. You can see the ground, there's leaves, but just because you can see ground here doesn't mean that there is no hiccups and no snow. We started off today's adventure really fun. Um, I'm let's just say I am just not camping where I was planning on camping and that is because Monty got the truck stuck going down a two track. Did you do this? Why did you do this? You did this! No, you did this! You did this! I took a big risk when I was coming in today. I, I didn't I knew that the snow was gone in most places But anytime there's a snowmobile that goes down a two track or anything packs it down and if there's just a dip, there's just more snow, and I got the truck stuck for a good hour, hour and a half. That was just a big ordeal. I just kind of like, I was like, yeah, I think I can make it through this. Went for it, couldn't make it. Got to see the differences between a snowshoe as a shovel and a paddle, a canoe paddle, because I didn't bring a shovel. Forgot a shovel, that was not smart of me. Yeah, so anywho, What's the plan for today is right now, we are looking for the perfect tree. I'd like to make a shelter using only natural materials and using no tools. That's the goal for today. We'll see if we can accomplish it. Uh, right now, I'm, like I said, I'm looking for the perfect tree. I need something that's kind of leaning, wedged in between trees. It can't be too dead, you know, it can't be, it can't be in a spot where there's just like dead trees hanging. If, if it's too, if it's too much to find, we, we spend too much time looking, um, we're just gonna sleep under a tarp, but I'm right now. I don't know how far I'm gonna go I'm not in the spot that I was planning on getting to but it is what it is I had to park the truck We had to hike down that two track ways and just Wander off from there. So we're just kind of you know, we're still in the woods But anyways, we're gonna keep searching and we're just gonna go as far as we need to to find that perfect tree and make a shelter So let's get to it Monty. Come on This is the sort of thing I'm looking for. Uh, let's see here. See, it just depends on how dead it is. Watch out, Monty. Watch out, come here, come here. Over here, go, go. Get your butt out of the way. So this seems pretty seasoned, so it's not rotten. Oops. Yeah, there's this sort of crap everywhere right now. The only problem with this thing is that that branch is in the way. Otherwise, this would not be a bad spot at all to set up right off of this. It's definitely not going anywhere on this end. It's stuck up in a tree. Let's see if we can move. Okay, I think we can make this work. We'll try to get that out. But I want to make sure before, before we set up this as our shelter, I want to make sure that this is sturdy. So let's take this off. Monty, you hear that plane? I think we found our spot. Oh man, 
I am sweating like a pig right now. It's uh, 50, 50 out. I am just sweating warm. Okay, this, this is pretty darn sturdy. I just want to see if I can get this out of the way because we'll set up right here. This is pretty flat. We'll just get a bunch of sticks, lay them on this way, and this way we'll scoop up a bunch of this leaves. This will be a nice spot for the shelter. So let's see if we can get this out first. Double feet, Monty. I got a double foot it. Okay. All right. This is gonna be our spot. So, um, I just did a big old walk around, just did a big old loop just to double check and make sure that this was the best spot possible for this. And so far it's the best spot I've found. I've seen a couple trees that look okay, but there's there's too much big dead stuff. These are, you know, leaning out this way. This is a nice seasoned branch and it's wedged between, that's the tree it cracked off and the tree's very much alive. So this is a nice, nice spot. And, and even if this kind of broke off, which it won't, um, we'd be fine. So that's why this would be a good spot. I'll try to see if I can get this to break off, but it doesn't really matter. But anyways, right now, so what the plan is gonna be is I'm gonna have to clear out all this leaves and all this crap, and we're gonna be sleeping under here. I'm just gonna take a ton of random sized branches. I'm not gonna get anything too big, but um, gonna get a bunch of branches and just kind of lay them up here. We'll lay some up on this side. We'll kind of make it a nice hunker den because it the weather has been uh, pretty crazy today. It's it was downpouring and uh, thundering when I woke up. I got an early start today, and um, then I went to the store and it was sunny and hot. And then it was windy and cold. Now it's cloudy and it looks like it's kind of gonna rain, but I don't need my shades anymore. I've never made a shelter that uh, natural shelter that I've slept in the rain. And that's what I'd like to do today. I hope it doesn't rain until I get the shelter complete, but I'd like to, you know, have it blocked from the rain. So we're gonna start by just clearing out this crap. I'm gonna move my backpack. Let's see what we got underneath here. And the leaves on top are dried out because of the wind and the sun today, but uh, it's wet underneath here. This is, it's not punky at all. That is some nice seasoned wood. That would be perfect firewood. Okay, now I'm just gonna draw out, just get a little thick here. I'm just gonna kinda draw out where we're gonna be sleeping. So this, this will all have to be evened out. But if I sleep right here, ooh, the ground's a little wet. So I could be right here. gotta be covered to at least there and then that means Monty has to be right here okay so I'm gonna just draw a little line here just so that I know I've got to have at least you know this much room so that we can sleep under it to right here I could probably go a little bit more this way, but that's what we're gonna shoot for. We're gonna aim to stick our all our logs past this line a little bit. And we can get a little snuggle up. Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. 
Gotta get stuck up. All right, the next step is to collect a ton of stuff and just start laying it up. Let's see here, Monty. That's not gonna work. All right, let's start with this piece here. Okay, now the collection begins. That'll be the first piece. I'm sweating like a pig right now. Whew. The last time I was camping, it was not this warm. The 50 degree weather is killing me. Oh, Monty. Just being out here is making me sweat. You want some water, Monty? All right, Monty. I'm not wasting water today. Um, there is a few spots with some low lying snow. Oh, he's drinking it. He took a sip. I'll give you some more. But anyways, if he's gonna waste water, it ain't happening today. We have to, we're gonna have to get some dirty snow that's just, in the, in the little valleys and here and there, there's still snow. So that's where we have to get our water from. Cause there's no water source around here. Let's just start. Laying crap. That's where I gotta sleep too. I'm just gonna put all sorts of sticks and branches. This one can go out a little bit more. So one thing I'm going to notice right away or say is that it, for, for the sake of uh, rain, you wouldn't really want to make it this shallow, but that's the price I pay for Mr. Monty being here. I got to make it twice as wide so that we can have both our sleeping pads. And I guess we could share one, but uh, I don't really feel like sharing one with Monty. But we're just not going to do that. And it's nice, I think, with all these little branches like that, it'll help keep the leaves up. So I'm gonna keep getting more of that. Oh, sorry, Monty. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so this isn't a bad start. I'm gonna need a whole bunch more of this. I have to keep collecting because I'm gonna have it nice and roomy. Like I said, this is gonna be bigger than you really need it to be, but uh, yep, we gotta keep going and get sticks. Come on, Matt, do you want to help? Or are you just going to sit there?
<laughs> I'm using mostly this stuff because a lot of the stuff that's laying on the ground right now has been soaking all winter and spring and it's pretty wet and funky and rotten. So the stuff that's just off the ground is going to be a lot stickier. I just realized that I don't want any of these really small pieces. I'm gonna just take some of this small stuff off. And we're gonna go with the bigger pieces first. Because it won't matter as much. So we're just gonna readjust just a little bit. Okay. This one. We get rid of this one too. We're just gonna. We're going to start fresh. We're going to start fresh here. I'm just going to wedge these into the ground too. Once I get the start of a frame going on, like I'm, I'm doing here, once I get, um, you know, a, a, just smaller gaps in between all these sticks, I can start just piling on a lot more little stuff. And I don't need as many big pieces. I'm just trying to make it all pretty for right now. This piece can get wedged. And I'm gonna also have to dig it out a little bit. Okay, not bad so far. Now we gotta do a little bit on the other side. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. This is just the skeleton and this is just the base. Um, these are all pretty sturdy branches, nice and seasoned, so that they can support more of the weight. Uh, I'm gonna do our entryway right here. And if we come over to this side, I still got to put up a wall over here. Now I'm not 100% sure I'll do a wall over here. Maybe we'll just do it lean-to style. Maybe, hey, you know what? Maybe we could just have our fire pit down here. I'll put a little sticks. I'll put I'll put a little bit of a frame over here. That's what we can do. And then we can cover it all in this way. Yeah. Okay. See? I don't even know what I want yet. Yeah, okay, so that's that's what we'll do. We're gonna change it up just a little bit. We'll put a few sticks right here and some over here, and we'll make our entry right here, and we'll just have our fire pit down here and just pile that up and kind of have an open front here. We'll see how that works.
Okay. Let's see here. Oh. Okay. This will be pretty good. Um, I should probably level this out before going any further because the next step is going to be just to start to pile up whatever I can. Now that I've got the skeleton pretty mapped out here. Yeah, this will be good. Maybe we'll sleep with our heads this way. I'll put mine right here. I'm going to be right here inside more. Well, I guess we can both be in way more. All right, I'm going to level this out. I'll dig it out using my uh, my shovel that I made. <laughs> okay. This stuff will be afterwards. We'll be getting a little bit sandy, but that's okay. I'm not afraid of dirt. Much are you afraid of dirt? Are we are we afraid of getting dirty? I'm never afraid of getting dirty. Okay, it's pretty good. It'll be a hair uneven, but I can mess with them more later. All right. Okay. So we've been going at this, I wanna say an hour. I got here, maybe an hour, maybe a little bit more. Right around an hour. We haven't been going, I haven't been going insane, but I'm moving. But um, now what I'm gonna do is just get a ton of sticks. Tons of sticks, dead alive, or anything on the ground, it doesn't matter. Um, basically, we've got the skeleton up. So now, I might even break, I'm gonna probably end up at the end here, cracking a lot of this stuff on top once this, the skeleton of this thing gets filled out a little bit more. But basically, we're just gonna pile on sticks all around, but I don't want anything any bigger than this right here because I just want it to be kind of light, you know. This is just this branch right here. You don't wanna be laying a ton of like dense maple or anything like that. So I'm just gonna stick to little stuff and I'm just gonna go collect a ton of it. I'm not gonna record a whole lot of that, but we're gonna get a big pile and then we're just gonna start adding it on here. So let's get to it. Now, if you're making a shelter like this, I'm not an expert by any means. Don't ever <laughs> take whatever I say with a grain of salt. But um, you can just grab what once you get your skeleton and your frame up, like I've got, uh, you can grab any dead branches on the ground. I don't think it's going to matter at all. I'm just grabbing all the stuff that's hanging off of these trees because there's just so much of it around. I mean, it's everywhere. There's just big down trees, so I can get all my sticks in just a few spots, like this whole tree top. All the sticks are right here, so I don't even have to. I don't even have to run around. Just find a few of these fallen trees, and I get all my branches in one spot. And another thing, like I said, I've never made one of these before. So. I'm sure I'm going a little overkill on the amount of branches I'm gonna need. But that's okay. Don't you worry, Monty. I'll take care of everything. I should put a saddle on you, Monty. Ride him like a horse. <laughs> you don't care, huh, Monty? Huh? Huh? Oh. Well, I am warm. We're moving. 
we're doing some work. We're getting some work done. Oh man, it's so still out. This is awesome. You don't know how good it feels to see the ground. The la when I was in the woods and I did a little Easter egg hunt last week, that's uh, when I knew the snow was, you know, pretty much gone. But I didn't know it would be like this out here. The birds are chirping. There is bugs. I'm definitely getting some bugs around me, but it's, they're not black flies or mosquitoes. They're just little, like, I don't know what the heck they are. Just little bugs that don't really bother you at all. They're just there. That's fine by me. You want a stick, Monty? All right. We're going to take a little break here. Throw Monty a stick. See if he, see if he's kind to me or if he's mean to me with the stick. He taunts me. That'll depend on how, how long we throw it here, Monty. Where you want it? Let's go over this way. This ain't gonna last very long. <laughs> this uh, no bugs weather. This is a very, this is shorter, this time of year is shorter than fall. Being able to see the ground and no bugs. It's like a week long. There's a week of this. Come on, bring me that stick. Bring it here. Don't tell me with that. Come on now. Come on. A plane. You hear it, Monty? <laughs> oh, you do? Oops. Bad throw. But yeah, last year I tried to do something like this and you guys saw what happened. Let's get out of here. I ran. I ran away from those bugs. This is a nice spot. I'm sure it'll be pretty buggy here in the next week though. Hey, you bring it here. Hey, you're walking funny. What are you doing? Come on. Monty. Monty. Monty, come on, bring it here. Come on, Monty. Oh, mister, you're taunting me. You're gonna get it. It's a lot easier for me to go get the stick when there's no snow. I don't have snow shoes on. All right, so I'm just gonna keep cooling down for another minute here, throwing the stick for Monty, and then uh, we'll gather up some more sticks and we'll start piling them on. And then we've got to put the leaves and crap on there and finish her up. It's coming together though. They sure coming together. All right, Monty, come on. You know what, Monty, forget about it. Okie dokes, well a slight drizzle has started, so it is time to get moving on this thing. So I'm gonna crack some of these so that I can. Just kind of lay them down. Some of this stuff. Some of it anyways, before I get started.
Now when I'm doing this, I just got to make sure that there's no major gaps. And once I get a good layer where there's no major gaps, I can definitely start just spreading these leaves and stuff all over it. And it should hold it up. And if we lay it on thick enough, hopefully it'll at least block some of the rain. I don't know if it'll block 100% of the rain, but it'll definitely be better than sitting under the sitting under the stars. That's for sure, Monty. Now I want these to lay a little bit more flush, so if there's any that are sticking up too much. I gotta kind of weave them underneath the branches here. Okay, before I get to the other side, I just wanna see how well the uh, leaves stay um, on the sticks like this. So I am just gonna start piling some on this side just to see where we're at. This is probably the part that's gonna take the most time is getting a ton of this and putting a nice thick layer because I'm going to have to go farther and farther out to get it. That stays pretty good. Since I'm now seeing how much of this I'm going to need, I'm going to need a lot of it. So what I'm going to do next, before finishing the other side and before going any further, is I'm going to move all the big sticks, make a nice pile, and try to just, I'm just going to scrape up all the leaves in this area, get a nice big pile so I can just throw it on all at once. So, Monty, I'm going to need you to move your butt. I can see it now. This, this little spot from doing this is gonna be so sore tomorrow. <laughs> this is not a motion I do all the time. I do it, you know, to clear spots, but never, never this much. You know, a rake would have made this a lot easier. <laughs> okay, let's pile some of this on and see where we're at. The one noise you can't escape, no matter how far into the woods you go. Planes. You can't escape the planes, Monty. Okay, let's just throw this crap on here. A lot of it's gonna fall through, but that's okay. We'll put it on the other side.
I can tell that it's gonna require a lot more of this. There's gonna be lots of holes, and if I want it to protect me from the rain, I'm gonna need a lot up there. Definitely like, I don't know, maybe double as thick, I'm not sure. Definitely more leaf. More leaves on the top, less dirt. Because the leaves I feel like will, uh, you know, more flat surface area. But there's tons of that to be dug up. I only did a small area. Okay, let's take a peek at the other side and see where we're at. Okay, so I didn't put up a bunch of sticks on this side yet. I only did this back wall. But let's go under here. As you can see, we've definitely got to add a lot more to the top here. And then there's some gaps back here we got to fill. And we still got to pile on more there and over there. But we've got a nice start. I'm thinking, um, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm gonna need three or four times as much leaves and crap and a bunch more sticks. So I've got a lot more work to do. And then I'm gonna, oh hey, what's that? Is this your friendly neighborhood spider? I wonder how many of those I touched going through all this crap. Well, I'm working. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating, that's for sure. I'm gonna take a little water break and then we'll get some more sticks, scrape up some more leaves, keep going. What do you think, Monty? What do you think about this? He's like, you need to work harder. I think this thing is uh, mediocre at best. <laughs> Are you nervous about it, Monty? <laughs> he hears the little pieces of leaves falling because the wind's coming through. What is that? What is that? What is it, Monty? All right, we need to, we need to add more sticks and stuff. Don't worry, Monty, I'll do it all. Ugh. Monty, this is me. I'm sorry, Monty. Well, this is some of the last of the easy stuff. Um, I've pretty much scraped, except for right there, which I'm gonna use on that wall right there. I scraped most of the stuff around the immediate shelter. So now, 
the more I need, the further out I have to go. I'm pretty much just gonna make piles everywhere. Let's see where this gets us first. I'm gonna start with that top, this whole top here. Oh, that was a bad idea. More rain. Well, it's coming together. It's coming together. I've got a major gap here. I still gotta do most of this over here and over here, these two sides. Majority of it, this looks pretty good. There's a little gap there, and like I said, one right there. That's pretty good so far. <sighs> a lot of work going into this. It's definitely a lot of work. It is a lot of work. All right, so now the next step is to just keep piling on crap. I'm gonna start by filling in all the little gaps with sticks, going around making piles of uh, leaves here. And then um, I'm gonna spend a good hour, hour and a half doing that, just making piles of leaves, putting sticks in little gaps, getting it all kind of, all the little, little spots around and then uh, and then we'll get to the next step it looks like I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to get some sticks for right here and kind of make this shallower because the wind seems to be coming from here a little bit so I'm gonna have to make I'm gonna definitely get some uh, long sticks right here and wedge them in and kind of make a shallower doorway and then we'll pile some leaves on that too. He didn't let me get away with that beef jerky. Take a seat on this wet stump. See if we can get a wet butt. I could use a little breeze. It's a good temperature. Any warmer, this would not be fun at all. Twirl. Sit. Sit pretty. Sit pretty better. That was worse. Sit pretty better. Twirl again then. All right, shake. Shake. 
Bear paw. Shake, Monty. Shake. Good boy. Stay. 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 Wait, let me. Stay. Hey, come here. Stay. Come here, Monty. Sit. All right, stay. Stay. Wait, wait, wait. Monty, stay. Ha. Stay. Stay. Okay, get it. It's on my leg. It's on my leg, Monty. It's on my leg. It's on my leg, Monty. Don't you see it, Monty? Use your eyes, Monty. There you go. Good boy. Oh. Well, I've got a few piles of leaves around. I need to go gather a couple of big sticks for that doorway. And then let's pile some more stuff on. We're going to lose a little bit of stuff here. But that's okay. <coughs> Needs to be done. Huh? I'm just going to wedge these. Just make sure. Okay, I can still crawl under that. <laughs> that was, <laughs> I'm gonna a lot of fun crawling in and out of that. Okay, that'll work. That'll do. All right, let's start to put some stuff on here. It looks like a big pile of crap. Hey guys, I built a pile of crap today. <laughs> oh man. Let me just let me just peek in here. We've definitely got some uh, holes to fill, but it's looking pretty cozy in there. Monty's staring at me just like, I don't know what you uh, plan on doing with that big pile of sticks, but uh, that's a pretty big pile of sticks you got there, Dad. Yes, it is, Monty. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. Monty, what are you doing in there? <laughs> Monty.
Okay. Now I know there's gonna be some gaps and some holes. Um, as far as the ones around the corners and uh, by the feet, I'm not gonna worry about those as much because it is very warm. Like I said, I've been working hard and um, it's pretty warm out for my standards. I, I don't have my super warm sleeping bag, but I don't, I'm not gonna wanna breathe stagnant air. Now, if you were in the scenario where you needed this for warmth and it was a very cold night and you had nothing to sleep with, no sleeping bag, I would close up all the footholds, but I want a little airflow in here today. I don't want to just breathe Monty farts and breath. And he probably doesn't want to breathe mine, so um, mostly I'm concerned with this. I'm probably gonna just go through and get some leaves anyways and pile it on top, but let's go inside and take a look. Monty, you first, come on Monty. 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 Who wants a treat? Good boy. <laughs> Go ahead. One side. <sighs> so, hey Monty, how's it going? <laughs> it's not bad in here. As you can see, there's some, there's a gap right here. Let me shut off the light. We can see all the gaps. I got a light on right now. Okay, so you can see there's a few small gaps up top. I'm gonna have to just pile on more stuff on the top. There's some over there. That's a pretty large gap, but I'm probably gonna leave that open because it's gonna be up by our head or our feet. See all those are on the sides. Now, as you can see, see where the entrance is, I have to crawl up. So for warmth purposes, this is great. The opening going down, because uh, that makes a cold sink so that uh, the cold just wants to go down that way, and it'll, you know the cold air won't pool in here. But if you were doing this for warmth on a cold, cold night, you would want all these side gaps to be filled. I'm gonna leave these, but I'm going to fill all this up top here. So that's pretty much the next step is to just fill in all the gaps, pile on a bunch more leaves. I'll, I'll, I'll tidy up a little bit in here. And then this thing's done. Um, I worked very hard, we've been working for Four hours with some breaks in there. Four and a half, maybe. Four and a half, five. Four to five hours, somewhere in there is how long it took to do this so far. Let's see if we got all the, the holes. What is it, boy? Did you hear a mouse fart or something? What? What is it? What? What? You see a bear? Or a moose? Or is the silence getting to you? It's serious, guys. All right, let's go check. Let's go check, come on. Told you it was nothing, Monty. Told ya. You must have heard a mouse fart, like I said. And just set him off. Right, Monty? You wanna go check for gaps? Come on. Go check the holes, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's crawl in here. Let's see. Oh. Oh. oh, don't lick my face. Monty, no. Gross. Gross. Okay. There's one hole right in the center, just a small hole on that side. And where this tree connects, where the uh, right underneath this tree that everything's laying on, there's a little bit of a gap that I gotta stuff. So I'm just gonna do that, and we're done. 
Is it all done? Did you finish it? Did you finish your shelter? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the completed shelter. Piled on a bunch of leaves there. As you can see, it looks very different over here. You notice how there's some leaves that are different colors right there. And I know this all doesn't look like a, just a pile. It looks like a beautiful, thought out, well-designed shelter. Now, I, like I said, I left those gaps. Left some right here. And it's all done. That is a wrap. Whew. It looks like a big pile of leaves. <laughs> I did some raking. I didn't clean up very well, but as you can see, there's there's all around. I've cleaned up a lot of the leaves. Is it good enough for you? Oh, okay. Well, we did some work. We did some work. Let's see. It's eight o'clock now, Eastern. I feel like I got to camp right around three. I got here right around three. So I spent a good five hours doing this. And you know, I threw the stick for Monty once. I didn't really take too many crazy breaks, maybe a couple five minuters, but I haven't been, I was going pretty um, hard doing it. And then I just, I would say for the last two hours, I just kind of slowed down a little bit, just taking my time. Cause I was, I was building up a sweat. Now I'm like, I'm in a nice temperature. I'm not cold, I'm not hot, I'm not sweat, dripping sweat like I was the first few hours. So unfortunately, we still got some camp tasks to do. I've got firewood galore, as you can see, there is just wood everywhere. So I'm just, I've, already, I've got a whole pile of logs over there. I don't have to worry about that at all. I'm just gonna break it up. But one thing that I do have to do is I've drank down all my water and I poured Monty a bowl, which is maybe a quarter, and he took two licks out of it and just ignored it. And then I went and got some snow and he started eating the snow. But anyways, um, I've got to boil up some water and the only water source is some snow. Let's see if you can see it. It's, it's way down there. Let's see, can I zoom in? See that, that white? that's the snow so I have to go get a bunch of that and you guys know um, if you don't know to boil water out of snow to fill an algae it's gonna take a few a few pots worth and I've already, I collected three pots and I don't feel like walking back and forth a ton so what I'm gonna do is I've got a garbage bag in my that's keeping my stuff dry inside my backpack. I'm gonna fill that up with some clean snow. I'm gonna get the cleanest snow I can. And then we're gonna bring that back. And then I'm just gonna have a bag of snow. Yeah. Poop. Deer poop. Now we gotta scrape off the top layer of schmutz. What I like to think about when I'm collecting snow like this, and I'm gonna be drinking the water because I need it, is you know how many deer and animals peed and pooed in the snow that I'm going to drink. That's what I think about. Because there's lots of poop around. I'm sure there's a nice big steaming pile of poo right under this. That's a good thought, right? There we go. That's oh, that's some clean snow. Monty, this is our water. Get a nice bag of water. Lucky, let go. I'm hiking with the bag of snow. Lucky, let go. Lucky, let go. Okay. Okie dokie. All right, Monty. Hi. Hi, Monty. Do we get some snow? Do we get some snow? Don't you bite me. Don't you bite me. I got a pan. 
Okay. All right. Oops, sorry, Monty. Give him a little donk on the head. So we're going to have our fire pit. Let's see. I can't have it too close. I mean, um, the leaves are dry on the top, the top layer, but everything's pretty wet underneath. So there is definitely not a fire ban or anything, but still not going to take any chances with starting one since I don't really have a ton of water and I don't want to burn down my shelter. It's got a bunch of dried leaves all over that. But the ground's very wet, everything's moist. It was raining this morning, like I said. Oh, Monty, you're settling right in. That's the spot then, huh? Fire right here. Oh. We'll do it right here. This will be the fire pit. Okay, so we have got half hour till the sun sets. We've got a half hour until the sun sets. So I'm going to set up some of my sleeping stuff. We're going to get everything all secured in here. Make sure the ground's not going to poke my uh, sleeping pads. I didn't bring Monty the big old behemoth sleeping pad. I brought him Funk's original sleeping pad. Thanks, Funk. You don't know I'm using it, but thank you. <laughs> oh, so let's get that out. So yeah, we'll just get everything set up, and then as soon as I'm done setting up and everything's in the shelter, we're gonna spark up a fire. Get to relaxing. Guaranteed no holes, no holes in this one. Now, some of you may think it's a little bit ridiculous, and it is. I'll, I'll agree. Okay, it's not. It's not. I can't agree. I can't agree. But Monty gets two sleeping pads now. <laughs> I bring my dog two sleeping pads. One for by the fire, and then one for when he sleeps. Hey, here, Monty. Bud. A nice cushy spot. Good boy. <laughs> See, he loves it. How can I deny him this? <laughs> no, but in all honesty, I just like to give him a comfy spot. And uh, I put this underneath my sleeping pad for when I sleep to prevent any possible holes. Because I have destroyed a couple sleeping pads lately. He's... Oh no! And I don't know if they're covered under warranty yet. I just don't know. But Monty, you appreciate it, don't you? You get your one out here, your one in there. See, he's got that SPE, that sleeping pad entitlement. It's a serious condition. And, you know, this this is like a, it, it works for now. He really wants to lay on that, but it's at a bad angle. And I know he's not gonna wanna go in here because it's dark and there's all sort of crinkly noises and It's just, it's so still out. Okay, I'm gonna shut off the camera. I'm gonna race to get set up in the next 10 minutes so I can enjoy the sun going down. And just listen, it's so still out. I just wanna hear the sounds of the birds and whatnot, so. I wanna get it all set up, okay, Monty? Let's do it. No, this one's not for you. No, stay away. Stay away from me. Oh man, the sunset is beautiful right now. We can't, like, it's, we're really not able to see it, but it's a pretty one tonight. Even through all the trees, it's still pretty. Okie dokie. Ground's a little wet. Let's 
So, I'm gonna put this down here. We still gotta go for that one strike fire. Remember, that one guy gave me a little bit of grief that one time and didn't say I really got it. So now we've got to, uh, you know, redo. We still didn't get the one strike fire apparently. It wasn't good enough, so we've gotta go better. What we've gotta do is we've got to do it without even touching our fire steel. The, the, the first thing that happens to the fire steel has to be the striking, apparently. You're not allowed to pre-warm it up or anything like that. So, the quest is not over. I'm gonna scrape up some frilly birch bark here. We're gonna we're gonna get it one of these times. I think it, today's today, today's feeling like a good day for it. Let's see. Oh wow! Here, let's get some of that pixie dust all in there. Oh, Monty's getting sleepy. Okay, here we go. Now remember, I cannot scrape it. We've got to just stick it in here and go for it, okay. Come on. Oh, dang nabbit, that felt like a decent one. Oh, we started a fire out here, look at that. It flung. <laughs> well, we're still on the quest, still on the hunt. Just mangled that fire. There you go, Monty. And like I said, everything is pretty damp. Just the top of the leaves are dry. I don't think a forest fire could really start right now. Don't think so. All right, I'm gonna get. I'm thirsty, and I'm about to drink my last sip of water. So I'm gonna get some snow going now. I need some water. Monty, you're drinking the water I provided? I'm so proud of you. I'll get you more ASAP. Oh. Oh. Feels nice. I'll tell you what, after working these chairs with this backrest, feels pretty nice. Oh. I guess he has no choice, so he has to drink the water. I'm glad he finally drank it, so it didn't go to waste. 
but I bet he's thirsty for more and I drink the rest of it because he wasn't drinking it, but I will boil this up ASAP and give him some fresh water first. So the first shelter with no tools. It's the first time I built a shelter with absolutely no tools. Pretty sweet. I'd say it's uh, pretty nice. It's not bad. There's some holes and like I said, I wasn't planning on making it perfect no holes uh, around the sides. But call me crazy, but I do hope we get some rain tonight. Not like a downpour. I don't want a downpour, but I want some rain. This fire is pretty warm. Come here, Monty. Right here. Come here, Monty. Come on. Come here, Monty. There you go, buddy. Yeah, I do. I would like some rain tonight, I, the button, just not a downpour, because I just want to see. I just want to see if it. I'm sure if it was a light rain, we wouldn't get any. We wouldn't get wet at all. It would just absorb into most of that. Um, if it was a downpour, I think maybe it would. If it, it got soaked and it was just like a steady rain, a downpour, it'd probably come through, but it'd keep you drier than nothing, you know. But. It, it seems like it could rain. It's got that still, like, it's been cloudy all day. It was raining this morning. I hope it rains tonight. I hope we get just a steady rain. Because, I mean, we've got what we need to stay dry and warm. It is not that cold out. There's a slight chill to the air. I'm going to probably set this up here in a minute to check uh, what the temperature is. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely, we definitely would be fine if even if we got wet a little bit. We could, we could throw the tarp over this thing or just put the tarp over us, we'd be 100% fine. But I just want to know. I want to know if all that hard work made a decent rain protection, just naturally. But, you don't get to choose when it rains. I'm just kind of hoping it does. Oh, by the way, killed my first mosquito of the year a <laughs> little bit ago. One mosquito, a rogue mosquito that must have hatched, flew up to me. So, guess I didn't get to do one camp this spring without bugs. <laughs> technically, technically, bugs were there. There's a moth. There's a moth flying. There's another moth. But they sense the warmth. I wonder if we'll get any bats in our, in our little shelter, our little bat cave. Ooh! I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna burn these sticks and logs in half. And I'm just gonna relax here for a bit by this fire. We're gonna boil up some water. Um, boil out any uh, deer pee, deer poo that was in there. Fill up the Nalgene. And we'll cook when it's nice and silent. And we relax for a bit because I, 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 I feel the need to just relax here by the fire. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, you got a, you got a little goopy eye. You got a little crusties, huh? Let me get that for ya. Let me get there. Oh, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, you want a chin scratch? You want a chin scratch? Yeah. 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 Oh, your breath stinks so bad. It stinks so bad. Yeah. Well, if you're not going to use your sleeping pad, Monty, then I will. Oh, this water's boiling. Oops. Forgot about that. Probably good, actually, to let it boil for a little bit. Now we're just going to let it cool, since it's boiling hot. But with all the camping I do, guys, and whatnot, I won't deny it. I get a sore back. Oh. oh. So, now and again, when my back starts hurting, I do a little stretching. We're having a delicious one tonight. Probably my favorite meal of all time. If I had to choose one dish to eat forever, it'd probably be this one. I'll be honest. 
It's a pasta dish. Some of you may already know what, what it is. I may have already made it a year ago at the last time I tried to do a little spring bushcraft camp. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to spoil you. <sighs> nope. Because we still got to boil some water. Oh, yeah. I brought out a couple of beers. And I am excited to drink them. I'm, I'm going to save them. I'm going to wait till we start cooking. Because we got to simmer for a while. I'm going to get this water done. You know what? Now, now that I just mentioned food, I'm getting... It just like... I shouldn't have said anything. Because now I'm like, okay, yeah, we need to eat. All right, this is, it's melted, but I kind of want it to boil again. I know it's just snow, and it probably doesn't need to be boiled. But it's pretty nasty. It was like the, you know, the butt end of the last of the snow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that snow. All I know... Yeah, this fire is got a nice little coal bed here. That's all the fire. That's all the. That's all we need is just whatever wood's there. I'm not gonna. I don't need it for warmth at all tonight. Just no. Okay. I don't need it at all for warmth, Monty. No. Yeah. Oh, what? Monty, you're gonna get a treat tonight too. Yeah. Brought him out some venison and pumpkin. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So yeah, guys, I'm getting amped. This this has made me just like so excited for canoe camping. I'm so excited. I'm glad I got to try this shelter type um, using no tools and using all dead materials that I found on the ground. I've been meaning to do something like this and um, I had to wait for there to be no snow because I, I wanted to. I wanted to. Ideally, the fall would be better because um, the bugs go away in the fall. In spring, they come out, so you only get a short window to do this. I heard that too, Monty. Little critters of spring are moving around, but anyways, yeah, I wanted to do this in the fall because I'll get to test it, and if it doesn't rain tonight, I won't know. I think rain would actually help this shelter. Because it would kind of just like, if it all soaked, then just kind of compress the leaves. If if it doesn't get rained on and a strong wind comes, I think half that will blow off. All those light leaves. But if it gets wet, a nice rain, it will just compress it. Kind of make like a shell. So it needs to get rained on for it to uh, work better and stay together. Otherwise it's just going to blow apart. Okay, let's cool this off. We're going to get one more pot of water. And then we'll get our noodle water on, and then we're going to prepare dinner. I know the last thing I said to you was that I was going to be finishing up that water and then cooking, but I waited about 30 seconds, and I decided to start preparing dinner now because I'm hungry. I want to start cooking. <laughs> I'm not waiting anymore. So what we are making for dinner today is chicken riggies. Ooh, ooh, you know it's gonna be good. I love chicken riggies. It's my favorite. Oh wait, it's generic chicken riggies. So I don't have a ton to prepare. When I say generic chicken riggies, um, it's because my brother showed me this recipe and uh, he does it a gourmet way where um, you kind of like, you sear up your chicken and you do, you cook up your peppers differently and you use tons of these special peppers and you know really gourmet and me I'm just gonna throw everything in the pot and simmer the crap out of it <laughs> and it's still gonna taste good so we're gonna start with some white onion and if this is something you have not made before remember this recipe and give it a try sometimes or sometime not sometimes Actually, you know what? Plural. Yes, sometimes. Do it more than once because you're gonna. It's a good one. Got some green bell pepper. Now I'm trying to make the smallest portion of this. Usually it just gets out of hand because there's so many ingredients. So I'm trying to keep it smaller. 
Normally, you, what I like to do at home is use like a, a orange bell, red bell, yellow bell. But here, out in the woods, we're just going to use a green bell and a red bell pepper. Cut that up. Now the chicken, I'm gonna add last. I'm gonna I'm gonna simmer everything for a little bit first, and then we'll add in the chicken. I'm just gonna crush it with my thumbs. Got some garlic to go in here. I'm just gonna cut this up, kind of. I've been doing big chunks of garlic lately. And it's gonna simmer for a while anyways. Add that in there. Leave in big old chunks. Oh, Monty, you're blocking my light. What are you doing there, Monty? What are you doing? And then we've gotta add in, um, these are sweet cherry peppers. You get these at a jar at Walmart. They're like a jarred thing, and this is black olives. Now if you don't like olives, you can do without these, but I highly recommend you try it even if you don't like olives because Funk doesn't like olives and she enjoys these. She likes the olives and chicken riggy, so I'm just gonna add this to the pot. Now normally I'd, I'd add those in last, but uh, right now I'm just gonna simmer everything. And that's pretty much all we add in right now. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Oh wait, SMASH ROOMS! Perfectly chopped up, ready to go in. <laughs> Can't forget the smash rooms. <laughs> so that is officially all we need in there right now. So, now is where the magic happens. Right here I've got a bottle that's 50%, um, it's half heavy whipping cream and half uh, tomato sauce, which is just like tomato purees. Uh, my brother uses crushed tomatoes, I, th I think Italian flavor, but I just use that. And there's a little bit of olive juice in here. We're gonna go ahead and just add in this. Now it's gonna look thick right now until some of the veggies cook down, but it's gonna be so good. Again, this is half heavy whipping cream, half tomato sauce, just plain, with some olive juice in there from the can of olives. And then we've got to add in our spices. Now I'm probably gonna, I tried to go as little as possible and I've, I've got a pretty good portion. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to get the rest of this out of there because I don't want to waste it. So we've got to add some black pepper. And then of course some salt, not too much salt, not too little salt just the right amount of salt. Let's see a little bit more. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more. You get a feel for the salt. You just get a feel for it. You just look at it, you see how much you put in. You just, see, I just need a little. And you, one more, one more. Okay, okay, perfect. That's a perfect amount. Now the final step to making this dish is some cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Now you gotta be careful with this stuff. Too much, and this will be the spiciest meal you've ever had in your life. Too little and you won't get the flavor. I always overdo it on accident. That's probably already too much, but we're gonna add a little bit more. Okay, that's okay. That's gonna be way too spicy. That's okay, that's all right. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna enjoy the crap out of it. I'm gonna enjoy that. All right, just got a little bit of water in there. Add to that, the rest of that. Now it doesn't look like much right now, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be delicious. Um, normally when I'm at home, I will, uh, I'll cook up the onions and the garlic and maybe grill the chicken with a little seasoning and then slowly add in the other stuff and the peppers. But out here, I'm just gonna simmer it all like this, like I was saying, and it'll probably end up tasting pretty much the same. Ooh, just, just, you just wait. It's gonna turn a little bit more red. That's when you know. All right, 
it's time to get cooking. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh, I love this meal. I love it so much. That was an owl. We wanna get this on here, quick. That was really close. Oh, that was, that was dumb. That was very dumb. Ooh, okay. We gotta get this on here, Monty. The owls are out. I love hearing the owls. Alright, it's pretty stable. Got the great great, greatest great in all the land. Alright. Okay, we're gonna go listen for those owls quick. We both thought we heard something. It was just this toad. Monty. Monty, what is it? Come here, Monty. What is it, Monty? Right here. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that thing? Monty, what is it? The toad's just like, don't move. I don't move. He is slow moving. He is just creeping out. Wow, he is just like, he just doesn't care. He doesn't have the energy. Look at that. He was moving really slow anyways. I'm gonna leave him be. He is just frozen right now. He must just be creeping out for the year. Yeah. Ooh, that's a hot coal bed. Huh. That's a hot fire. Hot fire. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's already starting to look a little more red. The cayenne's just getting heated up. Mixing in. Oh, it's going to be so good. I'm going to have to simmer for like an hour. It's going to be amazing. Oh. Monty's on high alert now. <laughs> those noises you were hearing, uh, those animals, you may be wondering, like, what the heck is that? Those are owls. Those are owls. And they do sound pretty crazy. I th and I think that's when they're mating. I'm not sure. I'm not 100%, but it's always in spring uh, whenever I hear that noise, and it's like, <laughs> you, you could hear, maybe that, that picked it up, I don't know, but they'll keep doing that for a good hour or two, very sporadically, well, Monty's on high alert right now, he is, uh, after hearing that, he's like, I don't know what that was, Dad, but I'll guard camp. Oh. oh yeah oh yeah making sure not to spill that one gonna try not to anyways yeah the sounds of spring are definitely it's definitely a new experience it is completely different from uh Camping two weeks ago, completely different. There's now, there's just animal sounds. I love it. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love winter camping, all that. But uh, can you even see me? I gotta change those batteries. Anyways, what was I saying? I had to change the batteries. 
that that little LED light is the battery eater. It's super bright like this for a good two minutes, and then it loses all its power. But as I was saying, um, I love all forms of camping. Summer is actually my least favorite, the heat of summer. But at the end of each season, I am ready. I get I get excited for the new season coming. So like, don't and I love winter camping. Don't get me wrong. But towards the end, like the past three four weeks. I've just been like, come on, melt, come on, this, the noises, and then it's all exciting and new, it's fresh, and uh, yeah, I just, I definitely look forward to, it's, I, I like to just hit each season hard right away, spring and uh, the early summer here, I've got so much planned, a lot planned. Let me just scrape some more coals under here. Oh, that was a hot fire. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I think we've got. <sighs> I think this is the last bit of boiled water we needed. Still, it's still, it's warm. It's not gonna be the best tasting water, it's really warm. It's like lukewarm tea. <laughs> mm. Water is good though. All right, fill this. Oh, oh. That's still boiling hot. Oh. 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 Genius alert. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. oh, I did it again. That's very hot water. It's not, it wasn't boiling, but it came off the fire very recently. That was hot water. I don't think I burned my hand, it's just a little hot. Alright, now we need some more snow fur. The nudes. Okay. Alright, don't think we're gonna need much more snow. I'm just gonna dump this over here. In a nice pile, and I can. It's still here in a pile if I need it, but I don't think I'm gonna need any more water. Just use it to wash my hands. There we go. There we go. You want a stick? You want a stick? Can we throw a stick? You want me to throw the stick, don't you? You got it pretty quick. I'm gonna keep my beer safe. Once you hear a stick or tree, you start going crazy. Mm. Get your get your breath on there. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to distinguish it from the millions of other sticks. I don't know if he's gonna bring back that exact stick, but he'll probably bring back a stick. Oh, look at you, Monty. Come on, good boy, look at you, yeah. Crazy, crazy, you psycho. Oh, it's beautiful out. Come on, come on. ow. Oh, you can't swing it at me like that. You trying to hurt me? Are you trying to hurt me? For all the teasing I do to you? Oh, oh yeah. There we go. 
I'm gonna need a little bit of this moisture to boil out here, so definitely gonna be simmering it for a little bit before I add that chicken. I guess I won't uh, be using that snow for drinking water anymore. Mind you, right there, he's got a full bowl of that exact, that exact stuff just uh, melted and drinkable. But he's choosing to uh, molest my pile of fresh cleaned hand washing snow. Oh, what was that, Monty? Is that a mouse? Probably a mouse. Yeah, just... Alright. Monty, that's really reasonable. Thanks. Thanks, yeah, just go ahead and... Yeah, go ahead. It's fine. I wasn't going to use that to wash my hands and maybe have more drinking water. It's just... That toad does not want to move. He's like, you make the first move. <laughs> hey, buddy. Not even gonna blink. He's like, if I don't move, they won't see me. Are you camouflage? They probably feel pretty vulnerable in the spring. Monty, what is that? What's that right there? What is that thing? Is that an animal? That's actually, yeah, it's right there, Monty. Monty probably can't even see it. He just like, something smells stinky. It's simmering now. Look at how much more orange it is. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Got my water all ready for my noodles. We haven't started Monty's yet. Monty's is simple. We just gotta take some of that nasty snow that he got all gunked up. Oh. Oh. Sorry. My nut skin got pinched into my underwear. That didn't, that didn't feel good. Oh man. One of the things you learn is that uh, when you're out in the woods by yourself, you should be eating constantly and be, you know, full on food and sugars and everything. But sometimes I uh, don't. I like to I like to do the healthy thing and cook a big large meal and just gorge myself at the end of the night and then just pass out because I'm too full to do anything else. Health. Ooh. I didn't even check. I, I gotta set this watch. We gotta set this up. Yeah, it's uh, it's really warm. I'll probably my I've got my, I'm using. Now is the season when I use the Monty sleeping bag. The sleeping bag he's been farting in all winter with his stinky breath and just basking in it just hot boxing it and uh... you know i put that wool blanket over the uh... opening so everything stays in and he just breathes his little breath it's all recirculating yeah so it's probably staying with monty farts and now that's my spring and fall bag Anyways, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be using, and that's a zero degree, and now Monty gets his old, 
the first sleeping bag you ever slept in. Okay. Monty's gonna have a nice little pot of snow here. With some venison. He's gonna love that. And we've got some pumpkin for him. And I've gotta add in this nasty chicken. I already pre-cut it because I don't want to touch it. There we go. Chicken breast. Now if you're doing this yourself at home, you should pan sear your chicken in some kind of spices or grill it in spices and it'll it'll be really flavorful. I'm just gonna sear it up like this. I don't mind. Or I'm not searing it up, I'm just gonna cook it in the, the moisture. It's gonna it's all gonna taste del like delicious riggies. Oh, and I'm telling you, whether you cook it gourmet style or do it like this, this is the generic chicken riggies way, it tastes so good. Oh man. This is gonna be way too much. I'm gonna have to take some of this home to Funk. I tried to make it so um Funk's got, I gave her half the other pepper and the onion and everything to cook this up for herself, thinking that this would be a reasonable portion. But it's still going to be way too much. I'm going to get a food coma for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Time for Peruski number two ski. Come here. Come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. We're eating soon, pal. I don't know if the water's boiling. Oh, it is boiling. Oh yeah, okay. Noodles going in. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. So we're gonna do something that I've never done before that is probably smart and I should do more often. What I'm gonna do is I'm pretty sure this chicken is I'm, I, okay, I'm 100% sure the chicken's done. And this is gonna be hot. And I always burn my mouth because the food tastes so good that I have to just inhale it. So what I'm gonna do is pull it off the fire and let it start cooling and thickening while our noodles cook. Oh yeah, look at that. There might be a little too much sauce to noodle ratio, but that's a-okay. Oh, it's going to be so good. I'm going to pull it off the fire right now. Let's just get a little taste. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to set it right here. Whoo, that's spicy. Oh, dang. Dang, that's spicy. I know that. Oh, that's looking so good. Oh, yeah, this is done. Monty's needs to cool now. We're going to add in. He's got new dog food um we're trying to switch him over for his allergies we're, we're switching switching from grain free to a non-grain free food he's been on grain free since he was a puppy uh, so this is what we're trying next so we got to mix in some of his new dog food and his old dog food we switch him too fast and he'll get the poops and we don't want him to get the poops. Add him a little pumpkin. And that is a feast for Monty. He already, he ate some food earlier. So that is gonna be a feast for the boy. Oh, he's gonna love that. That pumpkin, dog food, venison slop. Do you hear that? That was a June bug in April. What the heck is he thinking? Can't have June bugs flying around in April. Even in May. There's a June bug. What the heck? It's 42 out. That's warm. That is warm, Monty. 42 degrees. Mm. 
Oh, so close. It's like on that edge where it's like... Ah, they're done. They're done. They're done enough. They're done enough. They've done enough. They've done enough. Let's eat, Monty. Let's eat. Okay, here's my favorite part. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's just way too much food. Oh, yeah. Just mix that in there. Okay, it's time to eat. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get sick from this. Okay, okay. Get yours. Hold on. Let me just, let's just, oh, yeah, yeah. You wanna make room in between your feet, you know? Get a little bit closer. There you go. Let me just get my behemoth bowl. Oh, oh man. Oh. I may still burn my mouth. It hasn't been cooling that long, but. I just know what I'm getting into. Like I said, this is my favorite dish. Favorite pasta dish. I know this flavor. I just know what I'm about to eat. Oh, well, let me just double check Monty. Okay, Monty's is lukewarm. Let me just clean my finger off for me. Let me let, let me just finish my beer quick. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Ugh. The only thing that can make this better is something that I forgot, and that's freshly grated Parmesan. But that's not gonna matter. All right, let's get a nice, nice bite. First bite, get an olive in there. Oh, where's the olives? Oh, it's too hard to get all this stuff at once. Oh man, it's like perfect eating temperature. It only took me my whole life, but I figured it out. You let your food cool down, and then you eat it. I'm gonna forget this by the next time I go camping. That was either a deer snort or a branch falling. Trying to hear if that was an animal. I think it was just a tree branch falling, some kind of something hanging up. I know you've heard me say this before and I've proved myself wrong that uh, there's no way I can eat this and I've 
<laughs> I've said that and then eaten the whole thing. But this time I mean it. There's not a chance. I think it's because oh, a guy had Oh, it's spicy. It's like, I just got like a chunk of it or something. <sighs> My nose is running. <laughs> Take the habit. <sighs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to eat all this. <laughs> oh. Oh. I can't, I'm not going to be able to eat much more. Oh, it's defeating me. It tastes so good, but it burned my lips so bad. Mmm. I'm going to have to set it down for a minute here. I keep licking my lips. It's just making it worse. Well. I guess it's about time for me to shut off that camera. My fire is pretty much, you can just, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. It's just a little bit of a coal bed. If there's no flame, nothing. It's just a smoldering coal bed. This is, the, this is about the time of year where I put my fires out at night. Put them out cold, that's what that, the rest of that snow is going to be for. I don't got to, usually I have a water source and I just dump tons of water on it, but I've got that snow, big pile of snow there. But uh, I'm just going to let this burn down a little bit, sit here, shut off that light, listen to these noises, and uh, eat as much of this as I can, which I'll be honest, it won't be too much more. I'm going to put a, I'm gonna put it in that little container because my lips are burning. I can still eat a little bit more, but man, my lips are on fire right now. <laughs> That's what I get. So I will check back in with you guys when I am ready for bed and we are scooting in that shelter. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Oh. You want me to... Do that. All right, lay down. Here you go. That'll work. That'll do. That'll do, Monty. That'll do. Well, well. Monty, come here. You good boy. You good boy. Yeah, it's a stinky doggy. Well, guys. It's cozy in here. I can still hear out this hole. But, uh, there's no way Monty's getting in his sleeping bag right now. It is just, it is far too warm. 40 degrees is not, uh, cold enough for this guy. He's just like, oh, it's midsummer. So, I'm gonna, I'll lay in mine, I'll probably have to keep it open. I'm definitely not put on any thermals or anything like that, but it's like a, this is like a Quincy. This is just like a Quincy. I'm full, I don't have chapstick, my lips are very chapped from the Bernie Riggies. I'm satisfied, tired, ready to pass out. I'm sure this angle is just super flattering. So guys, I will catch you in the morning. Good night, everybody. <sighs> Good morning, Monty. <laughs> the wind is picked up. Bye, Monty. You want to go out there? Do you want to go out there and greet the day? Go ahead. Oh.
her. Wait, wait for me. How about we wait for me? Wait for me. Oh no! Oh no! Come here. No, no. Oh, we lost him. We lost him. Oh. Anyways, yeah, the wind got super strong this morning. Um, and it's coming straight, straight into the doorway. And as you can see, it opened up a little bit. meant to hear something weird, but anyways, it opened up a little bit back there, and a little bit right there, but it is definitely really windy, and it's really chilly actually, it's much colder than yesterday, there's been robins um, all over out the doorway, because I cleared all the leaves, so they're looking for food, but... It's time to put on some layers and get up. Definitely felt some bugs crawling on my face in the middle of the night. I'm thinking they were probably spiders. Because I disturbed all their homes and now this is going to be a big spider's nest. Anyways, let's get up get layers on. Let's do it. Hi, Monty. Hi. Hi, guy. It's a new day. No getting away from him today. He ain't letting me. Oh. It looks like a nice day out besides the wind. I'm surprised at uh, how well this stuff is actually staying on here. Because, like I said yesterday, I thought a strong wind would just blow it all off really quick, but it's only made a few holes. Monty, he didn't want to use a sleeping bag all night. At one point, it felt pretty chilly when the wind started at like, I want to say it started at like seven. Oh, it is windy out, all the trees are swaying. stick. We make truce over the stick. Yeah? Truce over the stick? Truce over the stick? Okay. Oh! Oh! Well, yeah, this turned into a nice, nice blue sky day. Well, I don't know. It could have been. I always sleep and I slept great last night. But it's really windy, so... 
Where do you get packed up and get moving here? Okay, so the whole shelter is pretty sturdy and I felt really good about it, but only one part I felt a little eh, about how the sticks are laid. And that is this doorway spot where I just kind of stuck them in and wedged them. So I want to test the integrity of this door here. There's only one way to do that. That way is to simulate a large branch breaking off a tree and being thrown at it by a human. Any predictions? Is it gonna, is it gonna be fine and just knock off some of the leaves or is it gonna crush in the doorway? I don't know. Let's see, Monty. Let's see. <laughs> Watch out, get back! Oh! Hey, I held up decent. It knocked away the leaves right there. But the doorway. few branches came down. Okay. It mostly knocked away leaves. The doorway's still there. There's a big hole here now. Let's do it again, Monty. Let's say two branches came down. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do another test. What if a tree broke off a branch and it went to spike the shelter? Oh, that didn't, it didn't land the way I was thinking, but hey. Yeah, hey, it's sturdy, Monty. Look at that. Throw me that stick. Thinking that's all she wrote, Monty. It's I'm already starting to get a little warm sitting in the sun. So I mean, with the breeze it'll be a little chilly, but as soon as the sun picks up or if I get moving, I'm gonna start sweating again. Okie ladies and gentlemen, I think that's that's everything. We got everything, my team. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. So, that was my first successful shelter build using no tools, anything, just dead materials on the ground. It went pretty well. Uh, I could have brought a lot less stuff. I just brought an ax and a saw and a tarp just in case, you know. It was just downpouring, you know, I need a tarp for the camera in case that happens or we couldn't find the right tree, you know, I just, I always bring stuff in case I need it and end up not needing it. I do that all the time. That's kind of more my, my type is bring it and don't use it rather than need it and not have it. So that's why I always got a big pack, but I don't mind. I'm the one that's got to carry it, so that's okay. But yeah, good shelter, delicious food. I've got a nice portion. Um, Funk should have cooked to his own, so I'll get to eat this later. Um, yeah, it picked out. It was very tasty. If you have not tried chicken riggies, try that dang recipe. It's the last time I'm going to say it. 
But it is time to get back to the car, guys. So as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Come on, Monty. Let's go. Oh, low tree.